This uh, is an example of a case where the inhomogeneous term is a solution of the homogeneous equation. So we want to find a particular solution of this differential equation. Uh, we can uh, you know, find the homogeneous solution first. So we try uh, x equals e to the rt to get the characteristic equation. So we have our r squared minus 3r minus 4 equals 0, canceling e to the rt. And we can factor this. So we have uh, r minus 4, r plus 1 equals 0. So that there are two roots. Uh, 4 and uh, minus 1. So we can write the homogeneous solution as a constant times e to the 4t plus another constant times e to the minus t. Okay? So now the, the difficulty that we see is that the inhomogeneous term is a constant times e to the minus t is also a solution of the homogeneous equation. So if we try an ansatz, if we try, uh, say, x, to find the particular solution, try x equals a constant times e to the minus t, then when we substitute into the left-hand side, because e to the minus t is a solution of the homogeneous equation, we will, uh, fail, right? We will get 0 equals uh, 0 equals 5 times e to the minus t, right? Uh, which is telling us that this ansatz doesn't work. The solution, the particular solution is not of the form a constant times e to the minus t. Okay. But, so instead of this one, the trick is to try x equals a constant times t times e to the minus t, right? The reason uh, this will work is because when we substitute in, um, if we don't differentiate the t, then all the terms where the t doesn't get differentiated is like t is a constant, will look like a constant times e to the minus t, so that all the terms where t doesn't get differentiated will go to zero, because e to the minus t is a solution of the homogeneous equation. So that will leave the terms where t gets differentiated, so that the left-hand side will have terms that are independent of t, because we differentiated t, and those terms will be able to match to the right-hand side, the 5 times e to the minus t. So we can see how this works simply by doing the differentiation. So here's x, x dot. I am going to do the differentiation fast. So I know each term, I will still have an e to the minus t in each term. And then we'll have the derivative of the first t, which will be 1, plus the first t times the derivative of the second e to the minus t, which will introduce a minus sign, so 1 minus t for x dot. And then if we differentiate x dot to get x double dot, again we'll recover an e to the minus t. And then we'll have the derivative of the first, which will be a minus sign, multiplied 1 minus t, so minus 1 plus t plus the first, e to the minus t, times the derivative of the second, which is uh, times uh, minus 1, so minus 1. And this is simply uh, minus 2 plus t, okay? Then we just substitute in. So the uh, e to the minus t will cancel, right? So we can just cancel the e to the minus t directly. And then the x double dot will be uh, a times uh, minus 2 plus t 
minus 3 times x dot will be a, a times 1 minus t minus 4 times x will be minus 4a times t and that's equal to the right hand side which is 5 and I've canceled the e to the minus t okay so then uh, we get the cancellation right so if we factor out the terms proportional to t uh, each of them will have an a so we'll have an a and then we'll have a 1 from here right a plus 3 from here and a minus 4 from the last term right and then uh, that, that will be 1 plus 3 minus 4 will be 0. So this is the term proportional to t, right? And that's a 0. Um, all of these terms have an a, so I can bracket it like that. And then the constant term will be plus, and then there's a minus 2 from here. And there's a minus 3 from there and that's equal to 5. So this is 0, right? The t term cancels, as we said. And uh, minus 5a equals 5, so a equals minus 1. Okay? So we found then the particular solution is equal to a, which is minus times t times e to the minus t and that will be the particular solution to this differential equation All right so the particular solution is minus t e to the minus t okay so um if the inhomogeneous term is a solution of the homogeneous equation, you cannot take the inhomogeneous term times a constant as your ansatz because it will go to zero. You need to multiply by t. So that's also true if um, the exponential factor here is complex. So that means you have a real exponential times a cosine or a real exponential times a sine. And if this complex constant up here is a solution of the characteristic equation then you have the same problem and you need to multiply by t